All right, joining us now, a warm welcome to Tulsi Gabbard, Fox News contributor. It's great to see you. How are you? Now, this, this looks like a diary, is that? No, it's my notebook. It's your notebook? Yeah. If you could read that and see that from there, you're better than I am. <laughs> Still okay. All right, so <laughs> Democrats don't want him to run. Republicans absolutely don't want him to run, although maybe we do. No. <laughs> no, no, no wait, no, no, think about it. No way. He is so, he doesn't know it's Monday. <laughs> I think I'll, I'd rather take my chances with him. Do you think he is capable of dealing with China and Russia and Iran? Do you think he's capable of turning this economy around? There, there are so many issues here. Uh, you've mentioned a couple of them. There are many, many more. We could go down the list of his indefensible record that he's had as president. One of the things, though, is that the American people need to be able to examine these issues. What's the traditional way that we normally do that? Through a debate, right? Well, the DNC just announced we're not going to have any presidential primary debates. And so, you know, for me as a presidential candidate back in 2020, they were rigging the system back then. They were just more subtle about it, t tossing softball questions to Kamala Harris and giving people more time. But, but now they are so arrogant and so disrespectful to the American people and voters. They're just saying, nope, mm -hmm. we're not going to allow any debates. We're not going to put his record in front of the American people. We're not going to give people any choice other than Joe Biden. And so my appeal to Democrats and to American voters, if you are even thinking of voting for, for uh, I was about to say Don Donald Trump, yeah. if you're even thinking about voting so you're for President voting Biden, for Trump. is that what you're saying? If people are thinking about voting for President Biden, yeah. they really need to ask themselves if they want to support a candidate that is, has so much disdain and disrespect for the American His people. His agenda is failing, and I don't think he's up to the job. Now, I'll, I'll make a comparison. I don't think age is the issue. Bernie Sanders is old, but he is sharp as a tack. Yeah. Now, I sat with Donald Trump for well over an hour. We ran a full hour, and then we had a, another segment the next night, another one the next night, and never stopped. We, and he can talk forever on any subject you throw at him and not stop. So it's here's, not about age, it's about it's not, the person. It's not. And, and here's, this is what I think the Democratic machine, uh, th their play is, for them to be able to stay in power. They need Joe Biden to run for re-election, get re-elected, so that when he gets to that point where he cannot function, which will likely happen sooner than later, they will then install their puppet, their chosen one, Kamala Harris, to become you the really unelected president of the United oh, States. Yeah. I don't, and then really she runs in, and then she runs again in 2028 with the power of the incumbency behind her. They want someone that they can control. And you think Kamala and they Harris can control is that person. Kamala Harris. Why do you believe that? I, I have no doubt about it. You look at how she uh, carries herself. You look at her inability to uh, form coherent sentences. Um, you, 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 Wait a which, minute. Which, Can this you is explain serious... the mystery of the ages? Can you explain the uncontrollable giggling? Yes, I can actually. What is it? To me, it shows nervousness, anxiety, and fear. Wow. That's, That's how a she great analysis. I definitely don't want you analyzing me because that was dead on. <laughs> Gavin Newsom, I believe, has a chance to win the nomination, and I think in the back of his mind, I may be wrong, is thinking of running. Would he have a chance against Joe Biden? The Democrats seem to be lining up behind Joe Biden for the reasons that I've stated. But don't they see what we see? Don't they see that he's incoherent? Don't they see the cognitive decline? Again, the numbers seem show to show that. Right. Uh, so but... wouldn't they be open to... If you stayed a Democrat, you would have a hard time because you're not going to go along with the climate alarmist religious cult. Well, I'm not going to go along with the litany of insane issues and agenda, the, the so-called woke agenda the Democrats are pushing. And I think yeah. more and more people are seeing that insanity and, and are very concerned about it, and rightly so. This is why this, this democratic process really needs to play out, and it's why the DNC and the Democrats are doing everything they can to stop it. We love having you in New York. Thank, Thank you. you Good Gabbard. to be here. Thank you. Good to see everybody. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.